Good morning everyone. This is Sonali Pathak from Mount Carmel School. Hope you all are safe and sound. So today we are going to learn about changes. Changes in the world around us. So what do you mean by change? Change is a definition or you can say a change is a transformation or you can say change is an alteration. So you have different synonyms for the word change. So you define change as an alteration or transformation in the properties of the substance. Properties as in size, shape, color and appearance. So a substance gets transformed into a new substance. When you define change, when you want to define change in a very simple word, you can say when you want to get an haircut done, so what do you do? You go to the barber shop and get it done. So the long hair of yours get into short hair. So that is a change. Okay. So change is defined as an alteration in the properties of the substance. It can be the physical properties. It can be the chemical properties. So change are divided into various types. So changes are like you get the first very change that you see every day is a natural change occurring of day and night. There is your man-made changes, man-made changes as in the ones that are created by man. Then you have periodic change and non-periodic change. The one which appears at a particular interval of time is a periodic change, like day and night, the fixed interval of time. Then non-periodic changes, occurrence of landslides, volcanoes, they don't have any fixed interval of time that this time the volcano will appear or will it not. So this is a non-periodic change. Then you have desirable change and undesirable changes. So desirable changes are those changes which we desire, which we want. If you want the milk to turn into curd, is that is your desire. If you want to cook food, that is your desire. Undesirable change means the things getting spoiled, that you don't want the things to spoil, but it gets spoiled. That is an undesirable change. Then you come for the reversible changes and irreversible changes. So reversible changes are those changes which get reversed, brought back, turned back into the original shape or size. And irreversible changes are those changes which cannot be reversed back. So the other types of changes are physical changes and chemical changes. So a physical change, uh, the word physical means the something that you see that is appearing in front of you. That is a physical change. Chemical change as in the thing chemical, the chemistry behind the atoms, the molecules, the rearrangement, everything is getting rearranged. So that is a chemical change. So in this module, we are going to learn about in detail of physical change. So what is a physical change? A physical change is a change that you can very well see in appearance, that you can see the physical properties getting changed. The very first example of a physical change is water cycle that appears naturally on in this, uh, on this uh, planet earth or you can say in this universe. So what is water cycle? Water cycle is when all the water bodies get heated up by the sun heat or sun's heat then they get evaporated from clouds when they meet the cold wave there then they come down in the form of precipitation means the clouds condense and come down as precipitation. So water that is there in all the water bodies like the lakes or rivers, wells get transformed into water. So this is the best example that you can see occurring naturally. Then the next example that you can see is a clay. When you play with clay, when you are small we play with clay, when you are big also you play with clay, you mold clay into various shapes and sizes and you get back the clay. Okay, so you make different kinds of toys, different appearing, different things with the clay and again it comes back. The next example for the physical change is haircut. So when you go for an haircut, you have long hair and then you get your haircut done and then it is the chain that appears. The next very common example that you are 
visualizing these days that you are seeing these days is ice ice turning into water what happens when you take ice from the freezer the ice melts and turns into water so these are all examples for physical change so what is a physical change a physical change is the change in the matter where its appearance form shape or size may be altered but its composition stays the same or it does not change into a new substance means you get a haircut done but you still have your hair there clear and after a, a weeks time or you can say after a month's time again your hair grows so it is not changing into anything new so a physical change is a change where uh, no new substance is formed then when you see a physical change you see the transformation of matter from one state to another we had learned in states of matter that matter exists in three different states that is solid liquids and gases so a change in matter a change in matter will be your example or change in the state of matter will be an example of physical change so water cycle is a perfect example of matter changing its state water getting converted into water vapor water vapor condensing and forming again back the matter that is your water that is your perfect example for change of state so matter can transform or change from one state to another through different processes like melting evaporation condensation solidification and sublimation so we are going to learn little bit more in detail about these processes where we see the where we see the physical change appearing so the very first process is melting melting means what happens when you take ice out of the freezer it starts getting converted into water so what is happening actually when the particles in the solid vibrates they gain more energy and this vibration causes them to expand and break away from their position so this is the condition where melting point is reached so what is melting point the point that you can see the water is being formed from ice so melting point is the temperature at which the solids turn into liquids different solids have different melting points so melting is the process by which the solids change to liquids due to the addition or absorption of heat the next is evaporation so what is evaporation you have seen water gets heated up turns into water vapor so when it turns into water vapor it has to reach to a certain point where it can turn into the vapor form so particles in a liquid gain more energy and move around faster when they heat when they are heated so this movement causes them to expand so the liquid reaches to its state at its boiling point or the temperature at which the liquid turns into gas so evaporation takes place and form clouds from all the different bodies evaporation takes place and form clouds that is it is getting transformed into it is getting transformed into water vapor then what is the boiling point of water the boiling point of water is 100 degree celsius means the water boils at 100 degree celsius so in general evaporation is the process by which a phase of matter changes from liquid to gas or the vapor state what is condensation we have learned that in water cycle condensation takes place what is condensation when the liquid forms from gas or vapor means when water vapor rises up and the vapor rises up they form clouds when these clouds meet the cold wave up up to the sky they come down they form liquid that means they form water droplets and come down in the form of rain so water vapor condenses when moisture is cooled up below its dew point or the temperature at which the moisture becomes saturated and forms dew when it comes in contact with the ground so what is dew it's a deposit of moisture you see during the winter days you see the water droplets getting collected on the leaves or on any of the exposed surface so that is an example of condensation so cloud fog and mist are produced by condensation 
solidification the next process where you observe the physical change is solidification you take water keep it in uh, tray and ice tray and put it in the freezer you find that it becomes into a solid so that is also called as freeze it is a process by which the state of matter changes from liquid to solid so when the temperature is lower than 0 degree celsius the water solidifies and turns into ice so what is the freezing point it is the temperature at which the liquids solidify so liquid solidify means the water solidifies into ice at 0 degree celsius this is the freezing point of ice so the next process that we are going to learn about when you see where you see physical changes sublimation so what is sublimation sublimation is the change of state of matter from solid to gas without passing through the liquid state as you see for example moth balls naphthalene balls the white colored balls which your mothers keep in the clothes and the cupboards when she come pleats the winter clothing and she wants to pack them and keep them safe for the next opening she packs it and puts some moth balls but when you see them later they either turn into very small balls or they finally disappear what has happened they have sublimed they have turned into the gaseous state without turning into the liquid state so what is happening there after some times the moth balls become smaller before completely disappearing the smell indicates that the transformation has taken place so these are a few very simple examples for physical change so in general we define physical change as a change where you can see the transformation of the properties but no new substance is formed you will see the transformation in the properties transformation in the size shape color but no new substance has been formed